Let's take a quick look at our new mouse, the Fennec Swift. It features the PWM3360 sensor. In this video, I'm just gonna give you a basic rundown and I'm gonna leave all of the reviews to the other YouTubers and other websites and that sort of thing out there. Um, I just wanna tell you what it is and show you this mouse. So we went to China and looked at lots and lots of different molds from lots and lots of different companies. Spent quite a bit of time over there and then finally found one that I, I think feels really good. It was used for a couple inexpensive mice I've, I've seen on the market, but the potential for this mold to be awesome. I was like, we gotta take that and do something. So we did. And we gave it a new coating, uh, which is soft, changed out the buttons, we've got the PWM uh, 3360 sensor, and we've done one other thing. We've got a new PCB, obviously, or a different PCB on the inside than you get with like a, the cheaper versions and that sort of thing. And with this one, we went in and programmed from some interesting firmware that allows you to change the RGB settings right here on the mouse without having to mess with any kind of software. So here's what we've done. You hold on the back button and the scroll button for about five seconds like this, And now it's blinking, it's telling us that, hey, we're in RGB adjust mode. So the DPI button, or the CPI button, is going to change the colors. So you pick the color you like. Lots of different colors, blue, cyan, all kinds of things. And then once you're done, you can change your mode. Right now it's breathing, as you can see, breathing slowly. So pressing this over in the side, we could go to let's rainbow mode. And then that's just a static mode with the color that you selected. Once you're finished, you press the back button and that sets it. So that's all you need. Now let's say you uh, just cannot stand color, makes you want to tear out your eyes, that's fine. Just hold on the uh, CPI button for a few seconds. And it's gone, no more LED. So it's very simple, and uh, now you can adjust your RGB without having to mess with the software. Now let's talk about the CPI steps. This is something we got a lot of feedback from the community on and we listened, so the CPI steps are 400, 800, 1600, 2400, 3200, 4000, and 5000. We did not put a setting on here for 12,000 or anything like that. There's just no use for it. No one's gonna use that. And the only reason we would have done it is for marketing hype on the outside of our box, which maybe would have sold a few extra units, uh, but I don't care about all that snake oil nonsense. Next up, the size, 123.6 by 68.5 by 41, and that's in millimeters. Then we have a 1.8 meter cable, and this is like a reinforced rubber. Just feels really good, but it's it's extremely lightweight, so it's not gonna catch on anything, and that's one of the things I wanted to do with the cable. It works with Linux, Mac, and uh, of course, Windows. And one of the things about Linux is, um, you know, you can never use the software, so that's one of the reasons why we wanted to give you all the functions on the mouse itself. And we may even add some additional functions with firmware updates that'll all be done with button combinations, holding down different things on the mouse. So stay tuned for that. Um, all in all, I'm having a lot of fun with this mouse. Hope you guys enjoy it. And if you wanted to go in and like, you know, take it apart and change the weights, you can. There are some internal weights in there. I like my mice a tiny bit heavier than some. I think you guys are gonna love this thing. So check it out and uh, watch for some other reviews coming out very soon. It's over on Epic Pants and it'll be on Amazon very soon.